On the weekend of April 21st, 2017, in the small Rust Belt town of Lebanon, Ohio, a very important experiment took place. It was six months since the election, and the animosity, alienation, and division between Trump and non-Trump supporters had continued to intensify and fragment the community. This is the story of what happened that April and how it has affected the culture and tone of our society ever since. We got American pride We stand side by side Governor John Kasich has a warning about Ohio's economy, noting the state is on the verge of a recession. Many people in this dying town are struggling to survive, which is why they see Donald Trump as the savior. I love Don Trump. A lot of people don't. And I think it's not his personality. He's a man that has given his life for his country, if you think about it. And that's why I love him. Factories have been closing down left and right, so I've seen a lot of forced um, retirements, a lot of forced layoffs, while the government is just taking over and it just needs to quit. We need our jobs back. I've had the door slammed in my face. I've had people say very rude things about Obama and ask if I voted for him. I feel like racism is back again. Um, I feel like it's popular to be dumb. This political dirty trick with a pile of manure dumped at the Warren County Democratic headquarters has received national attention. It's scary. It's scary for me and it's scary for my children. ABC and NBC, those two networks projecting uh, that Donald Trump has won the state of Ohio with 18 electoral votes. Donald Trump's most ardent supporters, they expected that he was going to win. They didn't believe the national polls. God bless America. We're American proud. Thank you, Ohio. Thank you very much. Right now, we are in a culture that is completely defined by polarization. As a mental health professional for over 40 years, I've never seen anything like the amount of stress entering people's bodies, entering their minds, entering their families. There are people who, after major new announcements, uh, immigration uh, as it would be a good example, you know, not sleeping. You don't come and talk about America you They're already cleaning up the graffiti that reads, Nazi Republicans, leave town or else. We consistently saw among both liberals and conservatives a lot of mistrust of the media. One thing they agree on is they're not being well served by the media when it comes to understanding one another. My biggest concern is the divide. We are so far apart and it's hard to communicate and get along and understand each other. Sometimes to speak to a, uh, an atheist or a, um, a person that's not conservative, have the same beliefs as me, uh, a, person, a, a person of a different color, um, it's sometimes I want to talk to them, but I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you right now. I'm, I kind of feel afraid to, to, to open my mouth. We wanted to see if it was possible for people who had just voted for Trump or just voted for Clinton to spend a weekend talking to one another in a good way. We met in the barn of the, the guy who was the local uh, Tea Party founder, and he's a, he has a great a band, the Richard Lynch Band, country band. And uh, he was a generous guy and let us use his barn. We didn't know if it would be successful. We, we just wanted to try something. It felt like we were, after the election, it felt like we were entering a kind of a crisis phase in the country. Uh, we're going to begin with um, introductions. And then um, why you accepted the invitation to come here for this weekend. The day after the election, I called my friend and no return call. And they didn't talk to me for over a week, over an election. And I, I couldn't believe, I really thought that this friendship that we had had for 20 years was just gone out the window because I voted for one candidate and she voted for another. 
And I, I, just, I can't understand that. And that scares me about our country more than anything. I came because I, 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 I want to understand how a country that voted for Obama twice went so far to the other side. I want to understand um, and be confident that, that Americans aren't racist, sexist, anti-intellectual. I'm tired of kind of being tired of feeling so uncomfortable in my own community. I am a constitutionist. Uh, some people call me a conservative. But what got me here is I have grandchildren, five of them. I had three sons. They don't have a future if we don't get this pulled together. I think us Americans need to take our country back. I really do. The reason I'm here is I feel there is so much anger and separation. We let one thing, our political beliefs, divide us and make us call each other names and think each other is crazy and don't seem to care about each other. Uh, I'm on the blue team, 